In the 80s, governments around the world listened to scientists and saved the climate. I'm Charlie, a climate scientist, and let me introduce you to the Montreal Protocol. It's the most successful environmental agreement signed by more than 200 countries. Back in the 1980s, scientists were noticing a growing hole in the ozone layer over the South Pole, which is the layer of ozone molecules located high up in the stratosphere. Ozone is an excellent absorber of UV rays and helps protect us and ecosystems. Back then, fridges and aircon units used to produce chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs for short. And essentially, the chlorine atoms, Cl, are lethal to ozone molecules, O3, with one chlorine atom able to destroy thousands of ozone molecules. These harmful compounds, known as ozone-depleting substances, were creating a global problem. Concerned scientists sounded the alarm and countries worldwide took decisive action. They followed the science, adopted policies, and phased out the use of these dangerous chemicals. Developed nations led the way with developing countries receiving extra time and support. This global cooperation stands as a powerful example of science-driven policy making. It reminds us that when we listen to the experts and act together, we can tackle even the most daunting environmental challenges. We've made incredible progress towards slowing climate change, but there's still more to be done. So if you're ready to make a difference and help our climate, hit that follow button and join me on this journey.